Today we will discuss about CAM profile calculation. At the end of this video, you will be able to understand calculation related to CAM profile like maximum velocity of follower, maximum acceleration, etc. or flat face follower with uniform velocity. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. So let's see first of all the description. Draw the profile of a cam operating flat face follower from the following data. Follower leaps through 40 mm that means follower stroke. Then 60 degree rotation that means ascent angle. The follower remains at rest that means dwell period. Follower then descend to its original position during 60 degree rotation that means descent angle. The follower remains at rest for the rest of revolution that means remaining dwell. The least radius of the cam is 50 mm. The motion during ascent and descent is uniform velocity. The line of stroke of the follower passes through the axis of the cam shaft. Determine maximum velocity and maximum acceleration of the follower during its ascent and descent. If the cam rotates at 200 rpm, so up to the 7 point are actually for the drawing of the cam profile and this point number 8 is for the calculation. So I have written over here the important points in the summarized form. So let's start from the displacement diagram first. So draw the horizontal line with random length. Then draw the vertical line as 40 mm and that is given to you follower stroke as 40 mm. And then once again draw the horizontal line. Now you have to take the scale as 1 centimeter is equal to 10 degree. And so that the length of the outstroke is 6 centimeter. Next 12 that is 3 centimeter. Next return stroke is 6 centimeter. And remaining 12 as 21 centimeter but you can't accommodate it this length and so that you can use this symbol. Now next divide the outstroke into the 6 equal part and give the name as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and draw the vertical line passing through all these points. Similarly you can do for the return stroke divide it into the 6 equal part Give the name as 0 dash 1 dash up to 6 dash and then draw the vertical line passing through all these points. Now here look at this important point. Uniform velocity for both outstroke and return stroke. So here uniform velocity is given to you. So it should be the straight inclined line for the outstroke and return stroke. And for the dwell period, it should be the horizontal line. And here it is written strong. So the follower once again come to its original position. Now mark the intersection point and give the name as A, B, C, D, E, F. Then similarly mark the intersection point over here and give the name as G H I J K L. So this is your displacement diagram. Now for the cam profile first take randomly any one point and give the name as O. Draw the vertical line passing through this O point as center line. Now draw the circle with the help of the compass with minimum cam radius as 50 mm. Then through the symbol of the flat face follower. Now here in the description, direction of the cam rotation is not given to you. So you can assume it in the clockwise direction and so that you have to take this angle in the anti-clockwise direction means opposite to the direction of the cam rotation from this reference axis. So first it is 60 degree, then 30 degree, and then 60 degree and the remaining dial will be 210 degree. Now divide this 
outstroke into the six equal part with the help of the protector. That means each division will be 10 degree. Now mark this intersection point as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as you have given over here in the displacement diagram. Similarly, divide this return stroke into the six equal parts and the intersection point as 0 dash 1 dash up to 6 dash as you have given in the displacement diagram. Now transfer this distance 1a on this line with the help of the compass. Similarly transfer this 2b distance with the help of the compass on this line. Similarly 3c next 4d next 5e next 6f similarly you can do for the return stroke so set the compass as radius 0 dash to g and draw the arc over here so that you can find the position of the g and so that you can transfer this distance with the help of the compass next 1 dash h next 2 dash i next 3 dash j next 4 dash k and last 5 dash l Now here flat face follower is given to you and so that you have to draw the perpendicular line to these corresponding blue lines passing through A, B, C, D, E, F and similarly from G, H, I, J, K, L and at last from 6 dash also and the length of this red line is the one centimeter from both side of the blue line. Now draw the smooth curve such that all these red lines are tangent. And from 6 dash to 0, you can draw the R with the help of the compass. So this is the cam profile. Now next part, point number 8, determine maximum velocity and maximum acceleration. So you have to remember this very important list of formula and here it is given to you as uniform velocity for both ascent and descent. So I am going to find the maximum velocity with the help of this formula. So maximum velocity is omega s upon theta. And you know that omega is equal to 2 pi n upon 60 where n is the rpm of the cam and that is given to you 200. So if you put it over here as 200 so that you will get omega as 20.94 radian per second. Now I can find the maximum velocity for the ascent period. And so that I have used this symbol theta a means it is the ascent angle but here you have to keep in mind that this theta angle is always in radian so here in our description the ascent angle is given to you as 60 in degree so first convert this 60 degree into the radian and this one is the formula this theta is in degree and this theta is in radian so simply the angle in degree multiplied by pi by 180 and so that you will get theta in radian so theta is 60 degree multiplied by pi by 180 so if you simplify then you will get theta in radian now i can put it over here theta in radian as 1.047 Omega you know that 20.94 S is the stroke length that is also given to you as 40 mm. 
and keep in mind that once again this stroke length is in mm so that your velocity must be in mm per second now similarly for the descent period you can use the same formula omega s upon theta but for the descent period it will be theta d and here for the descent period it is also 60 degree so put it over here omega is 20.94 stroke length is 40 mm theta d that means descent angle that is 1.047 radian if you simplify then you will get as 800 mm per second so here ascent angle and descent angle both are same that's why we have the same maximum velocity for both ascent and descent angle now next maximum acceleration for the ascent as well as descent so maximum acceleration and here you can see for the uniform velocity the acceleration will be zero for the ascent as well as descent angle so you can say maximum acceleration is equal to zero meter per second square and you know that the reason because the motion during ascent and descent is uniform velocity that is given to you so if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video